want to start off, I want you to think about the word thrive. On the count of three, I want you to say thrive. One, two, three. Thrive. One, two, three. Thrive. Now, sometimes people go through life and in their careers, they just get by. So let's look at three different words. Dive, survive, and thrive. Now let's start with the word survive. I want you to think of some synonyms. When you think of the word or the term survive, what comes to your mind? Anyone? Barely making it. Barely making it. Just enough. Barely making it just enough. Anyone else? Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Obstacles. Obstacles. Experience. Experiences. You know, sometimes some people just have a just to get by mentality. Now, don't get me wrong. There are times in life and in our career where we have to survive. Is that true? Yeah, right? We got to get that, that mojo going. We're trying to get to that next level. But just think if you always lived your life in survival mode. You're always surviving. You're never thriving. You're never experiencing those deep moments of exhilaration. You know, you're not living your best life as Oprah Winfrey talks about. Think about that. Your best life. A lot of people are average. Get this. I love this quote by a guy by the name of John Mason. He wrote a book called The Enemy Called Average. Listen to this quote. We're born original, but we die copies. Living out the blueprint and the game plan of someone else. But I want you to think about what does it mean to thrive. Now, what synonyms come to your mind when you think of the word thrive? Success. Success. Excel. Excel. What's that? Growth, yes. Engage. Engage. Anyone else? Forward. Forward moving. I like the word flourish. So I want you to think about this. In the time we have together, I want you to think about where your career Take a dive, and sometimes it does. If we don't have a game plan and a strategy, sometimes we're in survival mode. But you're not at your maximum happiness if you're always in survival mode.